Hello and welcome to our tutorial on Python. Today we'll be looking at reading Excel files and then using them in the Python environment. So the first thing we've got to do is create our Excel file for this tutorial. Very simply, we are going to, I've created it here, it's three columns in the upper left corner, a one country, capital city, and then there's another city within that country. So then let, uh, so what I've done is I've saved it in this location as an xlsx file so that in this location here and this is an xlsx file as mentioned earlier so let us then go back to the spider which is my um, python shell and then let's first thing we're going to do is import the pandas module as pd and then we're going to use the read function to read the Excel file and then specify a particular sheet and then print out the whole data table. As you can see here, it is used, it is imported but not used, but we're going to use it in just a second as pd.read. As you can see here, we can read many different file types, even HTML files. However, let's just read the Excel file here. And did you, as you saw there, there, well, let me do that again, just so you know. You can see here, there are lots of parameters you can specify. However, what we want, this one, is simply the file path with its, ext with its extension. I've written the code below so that uh, um, I can have a quick refer referral rather if I'm um, I lose where I am and so that you don't have to spend time watching me mess around trying to find problems so let us go so how did we get our file location it's simply up here we included the file name and we got the extension from here you see xlsx file there so we put them all together and we get that and then we need to specify the sheet name as well. I have been lazy and just kept its original sheet name as oops, as sheet one. But uh, whatever name you put there, make sure you put it in uh, quotation marks. And then we're going to spec. What we're going to do now is call that as a function Excel uh, equal to Excel read, and then we're going to print it as Excel read and that is it and then we should get on our right as our output country capital city and other cities notice you have 0 1 2 3 4 courtesy of the pandas toolkit and um, that is uh, our complete data table as you can see here entered in so if we want to add lots of other columns, so let's do this. We, if we wanted to update it, we could quite simply do so. All we'd have to do is resave the Excel file, rerun the function, and you get the extra information here. Notice, this is our first problem, that you have a new line with the rest of the two columns there. And um, don't worry, that is still considered uh, as one data table, and this is all still will still be together. It's just on a separate line for layout purposes. Another, so remember that, and uh, so let's resave that, rerun it, and make sure we have back to normal. Okay. So and another problem we might have is if it's if you have got like spaces here, you you will get other error messages. See here we have not NANs and unar and unnamed unarmed. <laughs> so uh, be sure to keep it on top left corner. And if you go way out, you may even find that your NANs will become a separate data table in itself 
and that your actual data that you want becomes a very small part of what is a sea of errors or seemingly NANs. So just be careful to keep your information in the top left hand corner. Play it back to normal every time I do this. Okay, and another error is if you misread the sheet name, then you will get an error message here when you print it. When you try and run the function. So remember, remember to have correct sheet name, remember to have a correct file name and the correct extension as well. And then once you've got all that sorted, you should have a nice neat little table you can manipulate in pandas and you can use in you can draw in pandas and manipulate in python however you wish so i hope you enjoyed that uh, short tutorial and check out more of my tutorials on analyst rising and i've got excel ones more python ones ones on hacking and i've got other ones on um arduinos so subscribe if you like it and check out all my other videos um on my youtube channel thanks very much